Greetings, everybody. Tyron Joe here with the BZ Izzy Internet Talk Radio Show, where our podcast live stream comes on every Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, where we solely, but not only, talk about dating and relationships. That's, that's right. We are about the relationships of our people. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but we are commissioned to be good stewards over our home, okay? We're commissioned to be good stewards of our homes as men. Now, when we talk about women, they are commissioned to be good stewards over themselves as well. So in all actuality, we are both commissioned to be good stewards over ourselves. And the thing is, is that everything that we do, everything that we say, Every every type of way that we interact with people is all going to be accounted for. Um, so that's why I, me personally, as the host of the BZNZ Internet Talk Radio Show, that's why I certainly deal a lot as far as relationship because it is important and it is imperative that we really began to uh, 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 began to focus on how we are talking to each other, uh, how we are interacting with each other, because after this lifetime comes judgment. And when judgment comes, that's when we will be held accountable for how we dealt in relationships, how we spoke to people, how we interacted with people, we are certainly going to be held accountable for those interactions. You know, I, I, I know how it is. You roll rage. Well, you know, I can go ahead and curse this individual out. I can go ahead and talk reckless to this individual because I'm not. It's, what's the possibility? What's the probability that I'm going to see this individual again? You know, I'm just riding down the street. I'm just going to pass him real quick, and I'm going to turn left, and he's going to probably go, you know, he's going to probably, I'm going well, to turn left, and he's going to probably go right. You never know. You never know that, but that individual might be the one to save your life. You never know. That individual might be the one that you end up falling in love with. Come on now. You just never know. You do. You, you really don't know. Yes, that man might have been a man that you flipped off, gave the bird to. But a year down the road, you don't even know. But this man, you, you've met him at a party. And now you like this man. And somehow y'all might reminisce about road rage. And you might be like, oh, my God. That was him that I flipped off. 
that was heard that I call all kind of B word. Yes, we are being held responsible. We are being held accountable. It is all going to come back to us. It is all going to come back to us. Well, today's today's program, I don't I don't even know what to call this. I did one of these uh um, talks last month for Resurrection Sunday. And uh, it's not Sunday, it's a Monday, but I I'm feeling compelled to be here again with you today to speak with you today because today we want to uh get a little bit deeper and talk about unity of relationships. We want to uh bring back fathers in the home and most importantly we want to bring back God into the relationship but before we do we have to make a liar out of a man okay that man is Willie Lynch okay that Willie Lynch letter that came to us three three four hundred years ago is really is really I mean trying to be true on all fronts, on all ends, on all accounts. That Willie Lynch letter is trying to be, remain true, but through the power of our mind, through the power of unity, we can indeed break the cycle. So today, We're going to do a little bit of reading today. And we're going to, we're going to read from the book, uh, The Willie Lynch Letter and The Making of a Slave. We got some more articles that we're going to quote from uh, today. We do not plan to be before you long, well, but we do plan to be before you strong. Let us see here. Uh, chapter, well, the, in the book is page 16. Um, this is titled, this chapter is titled the breaking process of the African woman. And we're going to start at the second paragraph where it said, where he is saying to the slave catchers, slave masters, slaveholders, he's talking to them and he's saying, understanding is the best thing. Therefore, we shall go deeper into the area of the subject matter concerning what we have produced here in this breaking process of the female nigger. We have reversed the relationships in her natural uncivilized state. She would have a strong dependency on the uncivilized nigger male. And she would have a limited protective tendency toward her independent male offspring and would raise the female offspring to be dependent like her. Nature had provided for this type of balance. Stop right there. So what Willie does, he lets you know what the right way is, but he's saying in order to make a person a slave, we must tear down what has been to build up what we want. So the challenge to you today that is viewing this video is that we must tear down what Willie is saying to build up or to get back to how it originally was. God's original intent. We must get back to that. Let's, let's read a little bit more. We reverse nature by burning and pulling one civilized nigga apart and bull whipping the other to the point of death, all in her presence. By her being left alone, unprotected, with the male image destroyed. The ordeal caused, caused her to move from her psychological dependent state to a frozen independent. Stop right there. 
See, there it is. Uh, I wrote a post probably a week or two ago talking about the absence of femininity is masculinity. Uh, this is not stuff that I'm making up. This is stuff that is being written in books. Uh, look at, I mean, just, just look what he just said. Look exactly what Willie just, what Willie just said. He said, the ordeal caused her to move from her psychological dependent state to a frozen independent state. So, in order for her to be independent, meaning that she's no longer dependent upon the man to take take uh, care of her, she's now has uh, reverted into a survival mode or what I call masculine mode because now she has to do what a man has to do to survive. So once again, I talk about the absence of femininity being masculine or big mama energy. You know, that energy that that a lot of single moms have, especially when raising uh, when raising man childs. You gotta have that. You gotta have that type of energy to be able to instill fear in a little boy. Feminine energy is not going to instill fear into a little boy. Masculine energy, energy is what instills fear into our little boys. Uh, let us finish reading. It says, in this frozen psychological state, independence, she will raise her male and female offspring in reversed roles. So, the male will become dependent and the female will be independent. Let's finish reading. For fear of the young male's life, she will psychologically train him to be mentally weak and dependent, but physically strong. Because she has become psychologically independent, she would train her female offspring to be psychologically independent. What have you got? You've got the nigger woman out front and the man behind, behind and scared. This is a perfect situation for sound sleep and economics. See, the manipulation of the mind. If you got the mind, you got the behind. So after hearing that, you know, here I quit. How, how do you feel about that? How do you feel about the fact that three, four hundred years ago, there was a man. They came to the banks of the Jamestown River during the time of King James, who is a, a, a quite well-known figure to have had a, a, a version of the Bible named after him for this man to come and speak to slave masters, to slave holders, to slave catchers, to let them know the some of the key ingredients to the making of a slave. How to keep a people subservient for years and years and years to come. How to break up the home. How to keep a division. To keep envy. To keep strife amongst the male, the female, at all times. How to keep envy, division, and strife amongst men at all times. Older men, younger men. Amongst women at all times. Older women, younger women. How to keep everybody just in a frizzy, in a chaotic frizzy. How do you feel about that? We must stop right there and think. It is important that we think about what 
has just been read. Hello? We got, we got to really process this to understand what is going on now in 2022. To understand that there has been a plan. There has been a planned attack on my life even before I was born. There has been an attack on my relationship even before I was born. Three, four hundred years before I was born, there has been a written plan to keep me at odds. Come on. This is this is real deal. There has been, I mean, there has been already a vicious cycle against my family that I want to build and create. My legacy that I want to continue after I'm gone. That has already been destroyed by the writings of an evil man. <sighs> Come on, man. Think about it. Think about it. This has been written. This has been written. So it is much so our job like ever before to come against the plan. Please make sure you tune in Thursday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern on our YouTube channel and our Facebook channel. Uh, we we often talk about dating and relationships and um, we want you to be a part of the conversation. Please inbox me uh, on my uh, Instagram inbox. That's uh, BZNZ Talk. Uh, if you have any questions, if you would like to be a part of the show, if you would like to, uh, if you have a story about your dating life that you would like to, that you would like the people to hear, please inbox me and we will talk about it and I will bring you live and we can really discuss and we can have the panel, you know, help you out with things that you may be uh, struggling and that you may be uh, battling with. We want to see everybody win and see everyone succeed. And thinking about this unity in relationships, <clears throat> I did what I normally do. I went to Google and wanted to see exactly what Google had to say about unity and relationships. And you're going to be amazed. This is, this is some surprising uh, uh, knowledge. This is some uh, surprising information that Google said. Check this out. Unity is a closeness between two fully integrated people who are separate yet engaged in a shared enterprise. That's talking about unity inside of a relationship. It's kind of like mixing two separate substances into something new, but the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Stop right there. The whole is greater than the sum of its parts, meaning that, yes, we have uh we have person A and we have person B. A is different than person B. But the fact that they are different, their differences should attract each other in a way till this person's difference is gonna build up this one, this person's difference is gonna build up that one to make it be. Greater than the sum of his parts. So now, since we know that these two individuals are different, their differences are building each other up to the fact that now they are joined as one and unstoppable, unbreakable. Come on now. Unstoppable, unbreakable, a force to be reckoned with. Let's, let's make this make sense. Okay. A person that love to do a lot of talking. 
person A that loves to talk, but you have person B that loves to listen. Those two, they are different, but those two connect well. A listener and a talker. Hello. We just giving you something very basic and simple. A person. Let's, 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 let's dip off into a podcast scene. You got a person that likes to be in front of the mic. And a person that likes to be on behind the mic. Doing all the, the work. The necessary work that needs to be done behind the mic. The research. Calling, uh, calling potential uh, guests. Uh, uh, the correspondent, email correspondents. You got that person, but then you got the person that like to be in front of the camera. See, opposites being able to attract to where once they join together as one, you can't break on. We talking about unity. That was a word that was. Oh wait, wait. Let me read. Let me read a little bit more. We're gonna finish this thing up. It says each partner is true. To their own life dreams. While also taking on board. Their partners. That was a word. That was used. Um, in the earlier statement. Of this unity and relationships. From Google. It said, it said it was enterprise. Let me read that one more time. It said unity is a closeness. Between two fully integrated people. Who are separate. Yet engaged in a shared enterprise. I wanted to look up that word enterprise just to see exactly what is enterprise. It says a project or undertaking, typically one that is difficult or requires effort. There's many other definitions, but I really like that one. Because when talking about putting together a relationship, It's going to require effort. It is going to require work that must be done. The necessary work that needs to be done. It's not going to be easy because of the simple facts that I named before. Differences. Going to have to be able to adjust to the differences that each other have. And adjusting to it meaning understanding well. How can that particular difference that that person have, how can that difference benefit me? How can that difference edify me? How can this person being an introvert help me, the one that is an extrovert? (laughs) <laughs> Hello This is what today's lecture is about This is what it's about We are dipping into Bringing back Fathers in the home Bringing back men in the home Bringing back God into the relationship This is what we are lacking we once if we have all of that, then guess what? We have unity in our relationship, and then we're gonna have what unity in our way community. Let, let, let us continue. Let us continue. Uh I, I looked up uh the word relationship. Just had just had just had to look it up. What does what does the uh, the dictionary uh, say? It says the way in which two or more concepts, objects, or people are connected, or the state of being connected, meaning that although you may be different, but there was some type of similarity that brought you two together. And the thing is, whatever similarity that is that brought you together, that's what the glue is to keeping you together. 
Come on, come on. I, I mean, seriously. Whatever that similarity was, whether you both had a likeness for fishing, you both had a likeness for reading, you had a you both had a likeness for running or jog, jogging, keep that at the core to the togetherness. Keeping that at the core to the togetherness. Also adding the fact that also adding the fact that we are all we have. And with that being said, is that it's important that we remain unified. Now we get to the good part. What does that mean? How what does it mean to be unified in a relationship? Male and female, what does that mean? Greetings, everyone. Tyron Joe here with the BZNZ Talk, Internet Talk Radio Show. We are so grateful and thankful that you are here uh, uh, watching this lecture series. Hope you are enjoying this lecture series. But do me a favor. If you are new to the channel, please hit the like button, the share button, the subscribe button, and also hit the red notification bell to let you know when we are live. If you're not new to the channel, please like and share. Also, every Thursday night, we are live 8 p.m. Eastern right here on YouTube. Please come visit us, come tap in with us, and be a part of the conversation. Peace. Be blessed. It means that there are some core values of the relationship that the man and the woman must talk about. Must have a discussion about the man of course, the head of the house, the Lord of the house must set the tone as to how it's going to be. And of course, it is up to the woman if she want to go along with that tone. If not, there's the door. She can leave. But at the end of the day, there must be a conversation. A conversation must be had to maintain the unity in the relationship. core values meaning that when the relationship seems as if it is uh, tearing apart when the relationship seems as if it's breaking apart but has potential to be fixable has potential to come back together and to do more amazing and more awesome work here's something that must be done I believe that really to have a unified relationship uh, we must know as men and women we, we must shut our mouth I don't know. This might be a two part. This might be a two part uh, 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 lecture. I don't know. Or we might come back and talk about this on Thursday. But we must shut our mouth. Hello. It is important that we uh, 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 know that we cannot say or talk about everything that goes on in our personal relationships to everybody. There are some things that you cannot tell your mother, ladies. There's some things you can't tell your fathers, men. There's something you can't tell, you can't tell vice versa about what's going on in your personal relationship. Because when you release that type of uh, that type of information to, to individuals. You don't know what they're going to do with it. You don't know what they're capable of doing with that information, meaning that they might put that out on a platform or put that out somewhere that might expose you to, to what caused you to, to tear apart. Flip Wilson said the best. Loose lips do what? Sink ships. Loose lips sink ships. Well, you better know it. Said that in the Second World War. Because they wanted people to keep their mouth shut. Loose lips sink ships. Hallelujah. 
And the looser the lips are, the faster the ship sinks. Amen. And some of the lips in this congregation, there's some aircraft carriers. Let me tell you about some of the people in this congregation, friends. They go around trying to rock somebody else's cradle. Mm. Yeah. Trying to get a piece of somebody else's pie. Trying to covet somebody else's mate for their own. Yeah. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the loose lips that go around kissing on lips that don't belong to them. That go around lying on folks. The loose lips that make young girls make promises they know their bodies can't stand. Watch out there now. Watch out there. That's the kind of lips I'm talking about. And it's important that we do not let the the uh, uh, ship sink. So zipping our lips is one. Uh, stand away from social media. That's that's that that's a form of zipping lips too. Um, uh, it is important, you know, as a podcaster. I'm going to say this to the men. Get you a woman that's not even on social media. Ooh. What does that what does that look like, fellas? I mean, think about it. A woman a woman that's not on social media. A woman that's not caught up in the hoopla. A woman that stays to herself. A woman that knows who she is, what she wants out of life. Wouldn't that be a wouldn't that be a good type of woman uh, to date and marry? Really, a good type of woman to marry and have your children. A woman that's not caught up on social media. A woman that's not watching all that ratchet TV. A woman that wants to stand on the side of righteousness. A one a woman that knows her rights, her roles, and her responsibility in life. That sound like that sound like a great recipe for unity. That sounds like a woman that's going to keep the relationship, keep her relationship with her husband unified. Remember, it's kind of like mixing two separate substances in something new. But the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Meaning that when they both come together, it's going to be amazing. One can chase a thousand and two, we'll put 10,000 to flight. Ooh. Whew. Come on. There's power in numbers. Uh, I have more numbers to talk about. I might. Uh, I, had, I, had, I had a lot of stats, statistics to read. But uh, considering the hour, the time, we're not going to go over that today. Might come back in the second lecture and speak upon that, um, or we might speak on this on Thursday in our uh, broadcast live stream. But I am Tyron Joe. It's been great talking to you guys. We we hope that you receive something out of today's lecture, and that uh, if you have, please uh, talk about it. Talk about how you feel about what has been said um, on this uh, video. Uh, but without further ado, we love to see you on Thursday, uh, this Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern, right here on our YouTube uh, page. If you're on Facebook, you can be on our Facebook page as well, BZNZ Talk. Uh, but without further ado, we will see you um, on our next live stream. Peace. Be blessed.